Ever wondered what's the best way to recover after a rigorous workout? This question has plagued fitness enthusiasts and athletes around the globe. Being physically fit is not just about sweating it out in the gym or nailing that marathon run. It's also about how well you allow your body to recuperate. Post-exercise recovery is an integral part of the fitness equation that is often overlooked. But what exactly does proper recovery mean? Is it resting comfortably on your couch? basking in the after-workout endorphin rush? Or should you engage in light activities to keep your body fluid and limber? It's a quandary that many of us have probably grappled with at some point. Don't worry though, as today, we're here to demystify this perplexing issue that confounds even the most dedicated fitness enthusiasts. We aim to shed light on two major types of recovery that fitness gurus, professional athletes, and physiologists swear by active and passive recovery. These two strategies may be on opposite ends of the spectrum, but both have their unique advantages. We will provide you with an in-depth understanding of these two recovery methods and equip you with the necessary knowledge to, to choose the one that suits your personal needs, exercise routine, and fitness goals. The aim is to empower you to take control of your own fitness journey and make informed decisions that will lead to better performance and overall health. Active recovery, as the name suggests, involves taking part in low-intensity exercises during your rest days. It doesn't mean completely taking the day off from physical activities, but instead incorporating less strenuous exercises into your recovery day. This approach is often hailed as an efficient way to enhance circulation and facilitate muscle recovery. It's like a cool-down phase that includes activities such as slow jogging, leisurely swimming, or recreational cycling. The idea behind active recovery is to keep the body in motion without putting undue stress on the muscles. This helps encourage blood flow to the muscles, which is vital for repairing muscle tissues and fibers damaged during intense workouts. The enhanced blood circulation also helps in efficiently flushing out waste products that accumulate in the muscles during a workout. A well-planned active recovery day is not just a break from high-intensity training, but it's a day designed to help you bounce back stronger, better, and ready for your next fitness challenge. Of course, it's crucial to listen to your body and understand its signals, adjusting your recovery routine to meet its needs. Remember, the key is to respect your body's signals and ensure you're giving it what it needs to perform at its best. After all, recovery is just as important as the workout itself. On the other hand, passive recovery involves complete rest. This is a period specifically designed to allow your body to fully unwind to step away from the intensity of daily exercises and workouts. It's a peaceful and serene interval where your muscles are granted the essential opportunity to repair and rejuvenate from the strenuous activities previously undertaken. Passive recovery recovery can poetically be seen as an essential pause, a necessary full stop, a breathing space in the sprawling narrative of your fitness journey. It's a time when you consciously allow your body to switch off from the active mode granting it permission to slip into a state of absolute relaxation and restoration. This is not about succumbing to inactivity or laziness, but rather it's about appreciating and embracing the importance of giving your body a well-deserved, well-earned break from the constant physical exertion. Options for passive recovery are diverse, vast, and varied, providing a smorgasbord of relaxing activities to choose from. From indulging in a restful nap that allows your body to recuperate and refresh to immersing yourself in a soothing hot tub that aids in easing your tired, aching muscles. It may involve scheduling a therapeutic massage to promote circulation, alleviate stress and reduce muscle tension, or it could be engaging in gentle, restorative stretching exercises that help maintain, preserve, and improve flexibility range of motion. Passive recovery is not just a break. It's a strategic and integral component of your overall fitness plan. It is as significant and beneficial as the intense workouts themselves. It is designed to give your body the much needed time to repair and rebuild the muscles that have been stressed, torn, and strained during intense workouts. It's a period that encourages your body to restore and regenerate, ensuring that you don't just recover but come back even stronger than before. All things considered, the concept of passive recovery is essentially about balance, about understanding that to push your body, you also need to know when to let it rest. It's about maintaining a harmony between workout and relaxation, exertion and recovery. The idea behind passive recovery is to give your body ample time to repair and rebuild the muscles that have been stressed during intense workouts. So, which one is more beneficial? 
This question has sparked numerous debates among fitness enthusiasts and health experts alike. The answer, however, isn't as straightforward as one might hope. It intricately depends on a myriad of factors such as the intensity of your workout, your current fitness level, and the state of your overall health. Take for instance the intensity of your workout session. If you've just completed a strenuous high-intensity workout, passive recovery is likely the better option for you. Why? The reasoning is relatively simple. Your body, after an intense workout, needs ample time to repair the damaged muscle tissues and replenish the depleted energy stores. Rest, in this case, is a crucial part of the recovery process. On the other hand, if you're feeling sore after a moderate or light workout, active could serve you better. In this scenario, light activities such as stretching or low-intensity cardio can help alleviate muscle stiffness and increase circulation. This, in turn, helps speed up the recovery process by enhancing nutrient delivery to the and assisting in waste removal. Another significant aspect to consider is your fitness level. If you're a novice in the world of fitness, your body might need more rest days for passive recovery. It is important to listen to your body and give it the time it needs to adapt to new physical demands. Over time, as you become more fit, your body will naturally adapt and recover quicker. This will eventually make active recovery a feasible and more effective option for you. Lastly, your overall health plays a significant role in determining the best recovery method. Certain health conditions may influence your body's ability to recover, making one method more beneficial over the other. It's also essential to consider your fitness level. If you're a beginner, your body might need more rest days for passive recovery. However, as you become more fit, your body adapts and recovers quicker, making active recovery a feasible option. Remember, there's no one-size-fits-all approach to recovery. It's essential to understand that our bodies are unique and recovery varies from person to person. The recovery process is not just about lying down on the couch and taking a day off. It involves understanding what your body needs, the right nutrition, adequate sleep, and the right amount of physical activity. One should listen and respond to the body's signals. It's about nutrition to repair, rest to replenish, and exercise to rejuvenate. Active recovery involves low-intensity, low-impact exercises, which promote blood flow and help in muscle recovery, while passive recovery is all about giving your body complete rest. Both play a significant in the recovery process, helping your body bounce back from workouts, build strength, and prevent injuries. Incorporating both methods into your fitness routine can yield beneficial results. It's about experimenting and discovering what works best for you. Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Stay fit, stay healthy. Thank you for sticking with us throughout this video. We truly appreciate your time and engagement. In today's session, we delved into the intricate world of active and passive recovery. Our aim was to bring you a detailed, comprehensive understanding of these two essential elements of any fitness regime. We hope the information we shared has illuminated these concepts for you, providing not just knowledge, but practical insights for your fitness journey. With that said, we are eager to hear your thoughts. Have you ever experimented with these recovery methods? We are curious about your personal experiences. Was it a success or did you encounter obstacles? What challenges did you face and how did you overcome them? Your insights could be incredibly valuable to us and to our community of fitness enthusiasts. So don't hesitate to share them in the comments section below. Let us foster an environment of mutual learning where every shared experience can serve as a stepping stone for someone else's journey towards fitness. If you found this content beneficial, why not spread the knowledge? A simple thumbs up could a long way in promoting our content and helping us reach more people. Sharing this with your fitness buddies not only helps them, but also supports us in our mission to spread fitness awareness. Moreover, subscribing to our channel will keep you updated with our latest content, ensuring you never miss out on any fitness-related material. Before we conclude, let us reiterate an important point. Fitness isn't a one-size-fits-all concept. Everyone's body responds differently to exercises and recovery methods. What works wonders for one may not yield the same results for another. It is paramount to listen to your body's signals and consult with a healthcare professional before making any drastic modifications to your fitness routine. Your safety and health should always be your priority. Lastly, make sure to stay connected with us for more fitness tips, expert advice, and an array of interesting content. Remember, consistency is key in fitness and we're here to guide you every step of the way. So until our next session, stay fit, 
stay healthy.